There's no writing here. Little girl in her communion dress. How's it going everybody? We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Actually, I'm in the area of the little children, which is beyond. It was in early December that I got a contact on Instagram. It was a woman named Denise, and she said that I am the owner of the Miss Trangelo Mausoleum that we had in episode two. And I will, uh, I'll let you in if you want. I said, fantastic, that would be great. So we're here today to do that. And she's been good enough to come out with Colin. By the way, I'm gonna be going to, in a month or two, and uh, maybe in February, down to New Orleans. I want to see the Voodoo Queen, Laveau. And not sure I'm going to be able to get in there. You need private tours. It's all restricted. So if you know any tour guides that can get me in, but it's closed down for COVID. St. Louis Cemetery number one. But anyway, I'm going to go down there and maybe somewhere else. So if you know any good places, cemeteries, things to see, get me on the uh, on Instagram or a comment. So here we are at the Mastrangelo Mausoleum. And if you remember from episode, I'm gonna put my mask up here, fog my glasses up, I won't be able to see. And this is Denise and Colin. Hello. Hi, <laughs> Hi guys. Want to thank you for letting us uh, come see your family's crypt mausoleum. And this is, we saw this in episode two. I think that that was it, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Denise contacted me, like I said. And uh, why don't you uh, take us in and tell us about some of awesome. your uh, family okay. members? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take my hat off. Now, this is really exciting for me. I have never been in a mausoleum before oh my gosh look at this it's beautiful and I remember this from when I came this uh, Sun was shining on this beautiful stained glass of Jesus so I'm gonna crunch myself in the corner and maybe you could tell us a little bit about who's here. Absolutely. Over here in the middle is Raphael Mastroangelo. He's the father and the RM that actually made this here. He and I share a birthday. Wow. He was married to Consiglia Mastroangelo, who's on the opposite side. Okay. Now let's get, uh, let's get some pictures. Let's start with Raphael. We'll get a close-up here. Handsome gentleman and a beautiful lady here. I'm going to try not to knock anything over. Here we go. And how do you pronounce her first name? Consiglia, just like it looks. Consiglia. Yes. Okay, I'm going to get back here in the corner. Why don't you tell us which, what the, you might know? Also, there oh. are children, three of their children. So, if I'm right, Josephine is their oldest. Josephine is my great grandmother. Okay. On my mother's side. Okay. And then her brother and sister, so Minnie down there who lived to be 99, is her sister. Okay. And Charles is Minnie's husband. All right. Oops, let's see. Hold on.
There we go. And then Charles, Charles on the side. Charles is husband, so then the son-in-law okay. of Raphael and Consiglia. All right. Beautiful. Then John is the little brother. Okay. And he's way up here. I remember seeing John's picture from outside. And John is married to Charlotte, who is right behind you. Okay. And by the way, look at this beautiful painting. I wonder how old that is. Probably early 1900s? We believe it to be original to the structure, and the structure is 1938. 1938, okay. So Charlotte passed away in 1994. Okay. So that's the overview. And the top ones are still empty? Still empty. We don't know if anybody is ever actually going to use those because most of the people have already purchased their final resting places. So they may stay empty for all eternity. Can you tell us anything, any background about anyone? Um, a little bit. I know um, the most popular family story is that Consiglia, when she died, John used to come here and pry off the facade every day to go and spend time with his mother until he would pry off the marble until they cover. yes until the cemetery came in and actually sealed it closed he did it for over a year oh they didn't like that no <laughs> how did they know he was doing that he was here every day and actually if you look at the kneeler the turners for these are still here so you can actually these are them here oh my gosh look at you that you could actually that's how you open break it, it if you wanted I to never knew that. <laughs> Yes. But you say they sealed it so he couldn't... So he could stop, yeah. So he, they would stop him from he could coming not, in here every day. He and could not the see Consiglia. Yes, because she's not in a vault. She's so in a was, casket. She's just in a casket. And I so was there was ask significant decomposition over time. and. Um, so she wasn't like the Italian bride? No. Or... <laughs> <laughs> no, she was decomposing just like her regular. Yeah, and the, I know a little and bit again, about Joseph. And again, wait, it was John that? It was John that was doing it to Pensiglia, yeah. Okay, so again, That's the most popular this is, story. This is John. He's famous here. Rest in peace, John. Any other stories? Um, Josephine is my great-grandmother. She's the one that's down here. Okay. Her husband, Angelo, died in the 30s, and he's actually buried um, the next section over with his parents because her parents and his parents never got along. Oh. They didn't like each other, and um, they actually hated the fact that she married him oh, at all. Wow, interesting. Yes. Isn't that something? There looks like there's a little stone back here. Some beautiful things. Now this is like an altar, right? That yeah. you would pray. Absolutely. And actually in the kneeler, there's a little um, book that is there that has oh, a yeah. lot of the original mass cards oh. for those that died from their funerals. So you Interesting. Can feel free to look through those. Yeah. Can I look at it? Oh, absolutely. I literally just put it All right, it guys. <laughs> You, you ready? Through. There's also weird can you, little things. Could you do it? I'm going to work the camera yeah. here. Um, a couple of us have keys to the mausoleum, so we leave little notes for each other. Okay. So that we know who was the last one in, and this is like for today. Uh, see, so, this is like what you do when you have a mausoleum. Yes. This is like <laughs> 101. Perfect. Yeah, so somebody knows that somebody's been here. Yeah. So actually, Raphael went by Ralph as his Americanized name. Okay. And that's from his funeral. And this is from the consiglias from okay. the funeral home. All right. There you go. Um, John's. Who's up there? Right. And this is John. Yeah, John. Okay. Um, Armand is the son of Josephine, my grandfather. Okay. So that's his. That was left in here, along with some other assorted family members, right. including my father, my aunt, 
Um, another one of Armin. Leslie, who is a family member, again, my aunt, right. who is um, that. And these are ones I just found here that have been left by other family members. Oh, so historic. Very old Italian prayer cards, some of them falling apart because they had not been put in any sort of plastic. So I put Beautiful. them in plastic Beautiful. to Thank preserve you. them. Very interesting. That's how to, so that's how you open these things. Well, great. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Back out. And Colin, <laughs> thank you for chaperoning. You're welcome. And Denise, uh, thanks so much, everybody. Uh, we thank Denise and Colin for taking the time out to do this for us. We pray the family's resting in peace. Such a beautiful place here. So, so long, guys. And uh, thank you so much for letting us do this. Really appreciate it. Take care. Thank you.